Ijumaa hii tarehe 12 Februari Kapuchin TV tutaungana na hospitali ya Kikatoliki ya St Mary's eneo la Elementaita Nakuru kwa ibada takatifu ya misa ya kubariki kanisa la hospitali hiyo ibada hii itakujia moja kwa moja kutoka hospitalini humo kuanzia saa 4 asubuhi ikiongozwa na mashamu askofu Maurice Muhati ya Makumba wa Jimbo Katoliki la Nakuru Kapuchin TV tunajivunia ushirikiano wetu na taasisi za Kikatoliki endelea kutazama Kapuchin TV kitambulisho katoliki Kapuchin TV your Catholic broadcasting ministry Our Lord Jesus Christ, who for the love you bear us, remain night and day in this sacrament, full of compassion and of love, awaiting, calling, and welcoming all who come to visit you. 
we believe that you are present in the sacrament of the altar. We adore you from the abyss of our nothingness. And we thank you for all the graces you have given to us until now. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Father, we adore you. Let our lives be for you. We adore you. Let our lives be for you.
eyes of God is blessed indeed. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is forgiven. Blessed the man to whom the Lord gives forgiveness, in whose name he is not right.
chapter number 2 verse 6 to 11. Have among yourselves the same attitude that is also yours in Christ Jesus. Although he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of coming in human likeness and in appearance. He humbled himself, becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. And because of this, God highly exalted him on him the name that is above every name. That at the name of Jesus of those in heaven and on earth, under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. When I was uh, reflecting on this text, I found it very mysterious to understand. And it was because itself, it's a mystery, it's mystical. And therefore, as I was reflecting, mind, which I would like to share with you, which is also mystical, is to old boy who came from uh, perhaps doing catechism and uh, when he arrived at home the father asked him what did you study at the Sunday school the boy said uh, the Israelites then the father asked how did he do it you know what he did the Israelites were chasing, the Egyptians were chasing them, and when they arrived at the Red Sea, then he called Air Force, they laid some quantum bridges on the sea, then they crossed, and when they were almost reaching the far end, another group of planes came and bombed that quantum bridges, and all the Egyptians, they died there. And the father was like, is that what you are told? He says, oh yeah, yes, because even if I tell you about the story, you won't believe it. Simply because the boy could not understand how the waters could separate, then the people pass across. So he decided to create his own story. Now, the story I have just read from the book of uh, St. Paul, writing to the Philippians, expresses how Jesus felt like, God felt like it was not that important to remain in the godly nature. And he, he decided to take the form of a human being full of weakness like me. So I was trying to imagine how a human being is limited. Then God decides to come from heaven and enter into man then I contemplated God living in a human being. He was able, at a particular point, we read the scripture, that at a point he was, you are told by the disciples, why don't you call fire from heaven and burn these people who have failed to receive you? Then he says, he just fails to call the fire. Of course he had that, he had that ability to call the fire. Because he was God. But again, he said no. So I can imagine how God suffered when he was in the human flesh. Something which, uh, a spirit which has all the power over everything, the creation, then is confined into a body of a human being. Perhaps I would explain this one in some words of uh, nature. If I use some uh, practical examples of uh, the nature. You know, what happens is that the particles of light remain particles not until they accept to take the form 
or into the chlorophyll in order to enter into a plant, to exist in a plant. And again, a plant will only remain a plant, not unless it subjects itself perhaps into fire like the vegetables, then it is cooked in order to remain in the form of human being. So it has to allow itself to be burned, to be boiled, cooked, mixed with some other things in order to be, uh, to be edible. Then when it comes to the animals, they have to be subjected to knife in order to live in human being. Otherwise, it will remain to be an animal forever and ever. So in this case, it has to die, subjected to knife, cooked, then it may be, it will be eaten by an animal, by a human being. Then it, it is now able to exist as a human being. So in this connection, when you, we come to visit our Lord Jesus Christ, even the holy host, which was used to make the consecrated host, it had not just to remain as a wheat in the farm, it had to be subjected into some fire to be cooked and prepared to become white as it is. And there then God in his form comes from there and decides out of humility to come and hide himself under the appearance of bread. I think this is the most thing I can talk of, the biggest example of self-empty. We can emulate each one of us. Though we might be up or feeling like in the society we are up there or somewhere like we are put into a higher level, we should find a way to come down and meet the ones who think they are, they are less fortunate. So our today's reflection today calls us to reflect on how Jesus himself decided to come to us to meet us in our weakness, to redeem the humanity, and we see how us, either people in the society there, or the fortunate, if I may use that term, we can come down and help those who need our help. This, perhaps, I felt will help us reflect more on these mysteries of Christ as he comes to meet us this evening. We contemplate how he loves us, how he has decided to come to hide himself in the appearance of bread in order to redeem us. So it's my call for you, my brothers and sisters, that we reflect on these mysteries. Of course, they remain to be very mystical to us. But again, with the help of our blessed Lord, who is currently in front of us, he will make everything work for the glory of his Father. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit.
have given the bread from heaven. Let us pray. Oh God, in this word of sacrament, you have laid us a memorial of your passion. Grant us, we pray, so to reveal the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption. Who live and reign with God, the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Thank <laughs> you. 
Kapuchin TV kitambulisho katoliki Ijumaa hii tarehe 12 Februari Kapuchin TV tutaungana na hospitali ya kikatoliki ya St Mary's eneo la Elementaita Nakuru kwa ibada takatifu ya misa ya kubariki kanisa la hospitali hiyo ibada hii itakujia moja kwa moja kutoka hospitalini humo kuanzia saa 4 asubuhi ikiongozwa na mashamu askofu Maurice Muhati ya Makumba wa Jimbo Katoliki la Nakuru Kapuchin TV tunajivunia ushirikiano wetu na taasisi za kikatoliki endelea kutazama Kapuchin TV kitambulisho katoliki